Hey folks, Matt Sosman here from Microsoft, and I want to show you a demo here on how to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 using Autopilot. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, we're not going to use an image. We're not going to migrate any data. We're going to do what you would consider a wipe and load, but you're going to see some automation in here. And the coolest part is we're going to use Intune to pull down all of the apps and security policy directly down to the PC. So we're not using an image. Now you're probably wondering, I don't want to be able to pull things down from the internet. Well, this uses delivery optimization. for So other PCs on the network, it's going to pull apps and updates from those PCs and only the actual settings from the Intune service on the internet. More on that in another video. Now, this is going to be using user-driven mode, but pause the video here, just review some of my assumptions so you understand where I'm coming from with this demo. Um, we're going to be using OneDrive to back up the data and do desktop documents and photos folder. And of course, we're using Microsoft 365, not Office 365, to be able to make all of this possible. Now, how the demo works, uh, go ahead and pause the video to review this slide if you like, but we're going to be using the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit to do some of the automation. Again, we're not creating an image, we're just automating this a little bit. Um, and then from there, Intune's going to do the rest. Now, a big disclaimer on this, we are using MDT to automate. You could use System Center Configuration Manager to do a zero touch and make it even more automated, um, but that's up to you. This is a demo of the art of the possible, so you'll see some things that are possible here, but of course, there's a lot more customization you can do. And this took me about 90 minutes on a virtual machine based on my home network and my hardware and the config and all the apps that are being pushed down. So your mileage may actually vary. So. Let's get into the demo and take a look at how to do this. Okay, here I am on a Windows 7 machine, and you can see I have some data in the Documents folder here. This is going to be backed up to OneDrive. In addition, I also have some data in the Pictures folder on my Windows 7 machine. That will be backed up to OneDrive as well. Now, I am signed into OneDrive, so let's go to Settings and pull up Backup, and you'll see where we're doing the known folder redirection for the Desktop, Pictures, and Documents folder. So we're backing up those folders. Let's go ahead and do a reboot here, and we're going to reboot to a, uh, to a DVD or an ISO for our uh, MDT uh, kickoff process. So now we're going to boot into uh, Windows PE, and that's going to stick, uh, kick off the upgrade here from 7 to 10. Now what it's doing now is uh, going through and automatically reformatting the drive, wiping the drive, creating new partitions, and then it's going to start installing Windows 10 Enterprise and uh, start to load up the machine. So we'll give this a few moments to process. Now we're going to go ahead and do a reboot here and start booting into Windows. And you'll see here in just a moment, we'll be displaying the uh, out-of-box experience screen. And so here we are. Let's go ahead and enter the region here for the US. Now you could automate this with an unattended file, but now we're starting to get into image land and we really want to avoid that. Uh, but let's go ahead and choose United States here and click yes. Now on the next screen, we're going to go ahead and choose our keyboard layout and then skip over any secondary keyboards. And at this point, it's connected to the network, whether wired or wireless, and it's now going to contact uh, the Intune service. And here we see that um, my company's sign-in page has been displayed. So the end user is going to sign in with their username and password their Azure Active Directory credentials. Now we're going to challenge with multi-factor authentication. So I happen to have an Apple Watch. I'm just going to tap Approve here on my Apple Watch. And that's the push notification coming from the Microsoft Authenticator app to challenge with MFA. Now this will start to process at this point. And so now it's going to go through. Intune has kicked in at this point. So this is Intune, an autopilot, preparing the device. So we're going to join it to Azure Active Directory so we can manage it with the uh, MDM provider known as Intune. And then after that, we're going to go through and start setting up the device, applying security policies, pushing down Wi-Fi profiles, certificates, installing any apps like the Office client or Chrome or anything you want, line of business apps. So at this point, we're doing another reboot. And in just a moment, we're going to get back to that status screen. And you'll see the status page start talking about setting up your identity and the actual account. So now we're going to go through and start to set up um, the account for the device. And then once that's complete, then it's going to do another reboot here. And now we're into Windows. So now I'm in Windows 10. The device is set up. Look at that. Push down Teams. Teams is ready to go. Notice the Chrome icon on the desktop as well, a push down Chrome. 
OneDrive was installed. I'm already logged into OneDrive with single sign-on. There's all of my apps. Now the briefcase icon is Windows Information Protection. And look at that, there's my documents from the Windows 7 machine that was backed up to OneDrive. And then there's my pictures from the Windows 7 machine backed up to OneDrive. Pretty cool, pretty seamless, and really easy to do. Now I did customize the start menu here and you can see I have my line of business apps that got pushed down and they're customized and laid out on the start screen or in the start menu here. There's a lot more you could do with this, but this is just the art of the possible. I hope you enjoyed this. It's really cool stuff. Okay, let's take a look at how we set this up. So this is the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. I created one task sequence with all my various tasks in here on reformatting the drive and installing Windows and doing a little bit of prep work. And so that's uh, the bulk of the automation there. Now, here is my bootstrap INI file on skipping various screens in Windows PE and throughout the process. So you can see how that's done if you wanna pause the video. Now here's Microsoft Intune and we're setting up the autopilot profile for user-driven mode. And here you can see all of my configuration for that. So really cool stuff there. Now, if we go back a few screens here, let's go to device configuration. And these are part of the security policies that are being pushed down. So Microsoft Defender, Advanced Threat Protection, OneDrive, Start Menu Customization, so on and so forth. If I go to Client Apps here and we click on Apps, I'm gonna show you the apps that I uploaded to Intune, such as Google Chrome here and the Office Client and even the Azure Information Protection Client. And then this is how it pushes those apps out to the device. So here's the Office Suite, for example. I could do a little bit of customization here um, on the Office Suite, so which Office apps I want to have installed, and then some other options here on how I want those apps to be installed, update channels, so on and so forth. So again, really useful and really handy. Now, if we go back to device configuration here and go to profiles, here's my OneDrive um, uh, redirecting those known files. And here's the policy to also automatically log me in. So it's basically logging in the primary Windows account during that autopilot build process. So I hope you enjoyed this demo. Um, of course, I could take a lot longer to do this and talk your ear off, but I wanna respect your time. So if you do have any questions, uh, hit me up on LinkedIn, comment on the video, let me know, and I'd be happy to help. Thanks again and have a great day.